breaking news, the government was just hit by a global cyber attack from Russian cyber criminals. And I wanted to talk about how AI could affect global cyber attacks. So for one, they can do automated attacks and use AI powered tools that can automate various stages of a cyber attack, such as reconnaissance, vulnerability scanning, and payload delivery. These tools can autonomously identify targets, exploit vulnerabilities, and carry out attacks at scale with minimal human intervention. Another thing is they can have malware and botnets, and the way they do this is AI is utilized to create sophisticated malware that can adapt and evolve in response to defensive measures. AI algorithms can enable malware to evade detection propagate through networks, and even mimic human-like behavior to evade suspicion. AI can also be used to create powerful botnets for launching distributed denial-of-service attacks, which are DDoS attacks. Another thing they can do is work with social engineering. AI can enhance social engineering attacks by analyzing vast amounts of data to gather information about potential targets. AI algorithms can automate the creation of highly personalized phishing emails, scam messages, or even deep fake videos to manipulate victims into revealing sensitive information or performing malicious actions. Another very bad thing they could do is intrusion detection and defense. AI can be used to detect and respond to cyber threats, which is good. Machine learning algorithms can analyze network, traffic, identify patterns, and recognize anomalies to detect potential intrusions. AI could also aid in an automated incident response, enabling faster detection, containment, and remediation of cyber threats. Another way it could help is having cybersecurity tools. So AI can improve the effectiveness of cybersecurity tools and technologies. For example, AI algorithms can enhance antivirus software by continuously learning from new threats and adapting their detection capabilities. AI can also assist in vulnerability management, threat intelligence analysis, and security analytics. If you would like to read this, I will link it in the description. Hope you enjoyed.